Good morning. Welcome to Facebook Live, everyone. Uh, I'm Erin, and I'm joined by Alex. We're getting everything set up. We have a brand new live for you today. We are trying something new. Um, not only are we going to show you fabrics and garments, but we're also going to show you a presentation. So um, we have it figured out. We are confident that we are going <laughs> to get it going for you. So there's Alex. <laughs> I'm sliding in. Yeah, like like Aaron said, we've got a multiple screens. We're looking at ourselves now. Usually Linda is like looking at Aaron, who's looking at her, who's looking at a phone, who's looking at all kinds of things. So <laughs> it took us a while to kind of figure this out yesterday. We wanted to, like she said, share a presentation. So we had to get all the right cords and you, you know how that goes. You usually like don't have the cord you need at the right time you need it. So exactly. we had to go, I went to Best Buy and then we got a microphone. So I'm also just gonna check to make sure you guys can hear us okay. So if you wanna, I'm kind of watching both screens. So if you have trouble hearing anything, um, so leave a comment. Is, since it's a new format, we welcome yeah. your, your comments. Yeah. Um, but um, we hope it's going smoothly. Yeah. So should we start off with a little So Confident update? Yes, let's do it. All right. <laughs> if, you're, if you're a So Confident member, leave a comment in the chat and just tell us why you love it. Uh, there's no one monitoring the comments today. Betsy is on vacation. My mom is on vacation. My mom yes. is at a painting class in Santa Fe. And she actually like ran into an old friend who took a class from her in France or with her in France like oh, six nice. years ago. Yeah, oh. so she's gotten into this like community of art classes mm -hmm. and stuff. And so no one will be monitoring the chat, but we're gonna do our best to keep looking at it, so. Right, and we'll still do comments and questions at the end, but the format will be a little different because we'll um, be trying to check our computers and our phones yes. for the comments, so, but yes. we'll still do that. We are so. multitasking millennials. You're a millennial, right? You're like right on the I'm edge. I'm on the edge. I'm kind of on the edge too. I so. kind of identify more with that forgotten generation. Well, we did match today too, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But yes, first, so confident. Let's talk about that. Okay, so confident. So for May, our May So Confident, um, we introduced the new pattern called the Edgewater. Uh, the Edgewater comes with a dress and a skirt. So for the video in May, we did the Edgewater skirt in this stripe knit. Um, it's a black and white stripe. Um, you use the black and white stripe in all the different panels. There's a front panel, a back panel, side panel with a dart, and then a bottom panel and a waistband. So it's really fun. It's, I like the black and white. Mm -hmm. I think that, well, we're going to definitely show you how well you can use black and white yes. in the spring for all the yes. spring trends. And there's only one colorway of this. Like she said, we only have the black and white. Uh, but you can get this as a kit that comes with the fabric and comes with thread, all kinds of things. Uh, or you can get it as a bundle where it comes with the pattern, it comes with the kits, and it comes with the online workshop where Linda actually teaches you how to make this from start to finish in these wonderful video online workshop things that we've been doing for the last year and a half. Right. Crazy, it's been a year and a half. And of filming. <laughs> so you can buy the bundle, which includes everything, so you don't have to think about going out and buying fabric, going out and buying the pattern. We just give it all to you with the bundle. And that price is $146.99. That's the Edgewater Skirt Complete Garment Bundle. That's what it's called. Or you can just buy everything kind of a la carte on your own. Uh, you can buy the kit for $79. Yes. But then remember, you have to also buy the pattern and the workshop if you'd mm -hmm. like so and the video is out the video is out and then the Q&A when is the Q&A Q&A is May 20th so not this Friday but next Friday uh, and the online workshop experience is great with these monthly projects because like I said Linda teaches you how to make all these garments from start to finish in these wonderfully well done videos and then um, a couple weeks later we have a Q&A where she answers all of your questions so you're never like left alone with figuring out how to make a garment. Exactly, she's so good at answering questions. So, like I made this last night and I <laughs> didn't know what I was doing on some of the parts or I wanted extra help, whatever. And I was like, well, Linda Lee is my mom, so might as well call her and see if she wants to help me with this. So we actually FaceTimed on the phone last night until about midnight as she helped me finish this garment. Because yes, Karen and I do sew 
really only for Facebook lives, it seems. <laughs> so we were both up late. I, I went to bed. Oh, I went to bed at like one um, because I painted my toes after I sewed this. You can't have the sandals on. Priorities, yeah. Without the toes painted. Yes. yes. That was about when I went to bed, about one o'clock. Yeah. She was sewing yeah. this yeah. lovely shirt, which we'll get to. So, <laughs> Okay, let's talk yeah. about the Edgewater dress. Okay, we just announced on Monday um, the pre-order for the Edgewater dress kits. That's the June project for So Confident. And so I wanted to show you one of the options for the kits. Yeah, there are four colorways in this. Um, this is the coastal teal. teal. Coastal teal. I was trying to come up with names for all these kits, and Betsy usually does this because she's really good with that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna think of Betsy, and I'm gonna make up these names. So we have uh, coastal teal, um, exotic plum, um, as a citrus one. Yes, citrus something. What is that? <laughs> and a black and white, which yeah. Which yeah, is my favorite. Yeah, I love it with this mixture of the pop poplin. Is that how you say it? Yes, cotton, yes. Poplin. cotton poplin. So we have a woven panel at the bottom for the side panel is woven, and the rest of it is knit. So you can purchase these. They are one hundred and nine dollars for a kit, and you can choose one of the four colorways. And you can order. Uh, it's it's a pre-order, so we won't ship it out to you until later on in the month. Uh, definitely by June first, and. Choose one of the four colorways. Um, order by May 16th, though. That's when we'll cut the orders off and send them to our kit supplier so they can start making them and we'll send them back. So we will only have this product available for purchase for a limited amount of time. So buy that today, $109. You get everything you need um, as far as fabric to make this shirt or this dress. But you do need to purchase the pattern separately. So Edgewater dress and Edgewater skirt all in one pattern so you get both the dress and the skirt in the same pattern it's a digital pattern and that is what's that price 18 for the digital pattern yes. it's 18 yeah. for the digital pattern yeah. um so one thing let's do a little modification on our viewing sure samantha is our just amazing um telling us what we need to do so um, we need to put it in full screen mode so, can we do that? We are using an interface, Samantha, called Loom, and this is the screen. So you are seeing a little bit of Erin's computer, the border at the top and the border at the bottom. Okay, she says that's what it looks like. Yeah, so, that's, about, okay. that's, that's as okay. good as we that's can do for now. That's what we're going to be doing. So. And I think we'll try and um, keep our voices up, too. Um, we do have a different mic situation, um, so we will try to project our voices today um, so you can make sure you um, hear us so all good but, so far so just but, text Erin if you have her number <laughs> she has her phone right there <laughs> but yeah so. Samantha's good at letting us know how to improve things so yeah. awesome okay. well let's talk about the presentation so when Erin and I realized we were able to do this together I was actually meant to be in Cleveland so we thought about me kind of sharing a screen and talking through a spring trend presentation. So Erin and I looked on websites and we were kind of collaborating about things we noticed with spring. So what is your one takeaway that you noticed? My favorite thing that I keep seeing is bold colors. Mm -hmm. um, bold colors either together as sets or bold colors like with one color on top and another color on the bottom. Mm -hmm. But all very bold colors together. Yes. I think I noticed, one, crop tops are in and cutouts, which we're not going to talk about here. I would never be caught dead in a giant cutout with like a circle cut out in the middle of a shirt, but that's a big trend. Um, but also, I love talking about prints, so mixing of prints. So I'm going to get sit, sit up here a little bit closer and I'm going to share a screen and we're going to talk through a presentation together. So. Yes, Alex did a fantastic job of putting this presentation together. Um, so you'll be able to see that uh, instead of us. Actually, we'll be in a little circle at the bottom of the screen, but you'll be able to see that. So you can see our little heads here. Hello. And I'm going to make this um, a full screen. Hi. 
All right. Spring fashion trends. Let's get to it. So the colors that Aaron and I noticed here for spring, we kind of, I mean, there was a lot. I mean, everywhere from like lilac purple, um, but overall, there were three colors that we really kind of drew on here in this presentation. Hot orange and hot pink. I'm, I'm putting those together because it was all about orange and it was all about pink. Second one, primary blue. The lovely color Erin is wearing that we'll talk about in a bit. That was all over the place. And then greens and limes. There was everything from bright hot lime green to Kelly green to mint green. So all kinds of greens are working for this summer. So if you take away kind of the main colors that are being promoted and talked about in spring and summer of 2022, here are your colors. Like Erin said, she was really drawn to bold colors. So she might chime in here with any images she picked out, but this is one of my favorite brands. She found this color blocked jacket uh, from a brand called Sakai. And they have really great kind of interesting lines to their garments, very like, um, you know, very bold, very dynamic. Um, so this is a really fun take on that kind of hot pink, orange, and also red colorway for a jacket. Here's that blue. So here are some different image, image inspirations for how to maybe incorporate a blue. Wide leg pants are terribly in. Good thing because that is what Erin and I both are wearing today. Here's that kind of take in the middle of a track jacket. Um, we've got a, an entire look. Notice even on the right hand side, the gloves going down all the way to the boots. So literally head to toe in a blue outfit. And then kind of a take on a sweatshirt on the left side in that lovely blue. Bold colors also mixing with kind of wild prints. So mixing interesting colors you wouldn't normally think to mix. So we've got a green shirt with these fun printed pants. We've got a variation of mixing plaids or checks with a solid vest. So think of ways to just mix up your prints, add bold color, layering things, wide leg pants, flowy dresses, uh, long skirts. And I mean, come on, look at the shoes. Like I love these sandals on the, on the right, so fun. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Love this purple look here on the left, and um, and we'll talk about suits in a bit, but a lot of what we're seeing right now, too, are monochromatic looks, so matching a blazer with um, the same fabric for pants, and then here she has mixed a stripe and mixed another orange, and then on the right, just a fun, again, mixture of prints with bold print patterns. A fun, oversized pink jacket and a fun yellow dress so you know if in doubt just go bold that is what i learned through all of these articles uh we kind of we looked at vogue we looked at in style harper's bazaar so um, a lot of what a lot of these images are sourced from like pinterest or online images but various articles we kind of looked at together and talked through some trends here's that bright pink with the orange love this color combination of the one on the right you know thinking through a solid shirt with a solid orange pant erin was just talking about that with one of her eureka variations she made a bright red eureka and so thinking about even like a bright pink pant on the bottom so here after i kind of show you the inspirations of what's happening in the spring i'm showing you some variations of what the sewing workshop has done with this trend so bold colors with the sewing workshop Here's Betsy in a chateau coat. And then on the right side, Linda in a bright blue Berwick Street tunic. The next trend we saw that we kind of alluded to with the, with the Edgewater skirts and some fabrics you'll see later on, stripes. It's all about stripes. Mixing stripes with the bold patterns, mixing stripes throughout. You never can go wrong with a black and white stripe, but you're gonna see throughout the the presentations and variations of how to use stripes. So in um, Vogue, we saw some articles. This is Tori Birch and this is Carolina Herrera um, mixing that bold color again with the stripes. So some really dynamic, interesting images here. 
here we are with a couple brands. Chanel is on the on the right. Um, I mean, striped horizontal pants. Why not? And uh, on the left side, a, a kind of a linen cotton shirt with some fun details. Um, kind of the lines going down, going down that. Here's Kathy in some striped variations. She made a Bristol dress and a Bristol top in two different kinds of stripes. So stripes don't have to look one way. They don't have to be like the same width of stripe. So it can be mixed together. These are good pictures of Kathy. There's me in uh, a Zane top that uh, we made a few years ago. Um, in the bold color and stripe variation. Uh, I'm wearing, is that the Oasis skirt? Is that the yes. right word? Yes, the Oasis, Oasis skirt. And gold. And Erin in a, you know, just keeping it simple, a basic black and white striped ET. The next trend we saw is what I'm calling psychedelic prints. I mean, uh, if you guys are kind of keeping up with things a bit you know that the 90s are back so uh, everything from like butterfly prints butterfly prints prints are actually all over the place uh, butterfly clips if anyone remembers those that was like my whole childhood <laughs> I should have worn some today I don't know why I didn't so psychedelic prints you know kind of a play on on scale a play on like the mixture of colors so we've got Balenciaga Balenciaga and Gucci actually did a collaboration, so that's the image on the on the left, and then kind of another psychedelic mixture from Versace on the right. Again, just some variations. Thinking about thinking through monochromatic, adding a print on the top and the bottom instead of a solid color, and then on the right, you know, mixing the stripes with blended tie-dye, I don't like the word tie-dye, but tie-dye or, you know, mixed print variations. Now, things we've done with that, here's Erin in a really cool print. We don't have this fabric anymore, um, but it's a Berwick Street tunic and just kind of a really fun, bright print. So if you don't want to go full head to toe in something psychedelic, just make a top or make the pants. There's Lynn here in the Chesney pants. Uh, in the West End top. So, you know, just adding a, a printed pant or a printed top with something solid is a good way to go. Erin's here in uh, West End pants and again a solid top. That's the Eureka top. And then I wore this a couple weeks ago when we were here for So Kansas. I got really inspired from something. I think Samantha and I were looking at a brand that really did a good job of mixing wild prints and putting them together. So we actually have this here to show. This is the Mix It top with the Ikea jacket and the Chesney pants. And I just loved this kind of wild combination of things. I got a lot of compliments. I went and picked up coffee that day and everyone was staring at me. It was fun. So I, I had no problem mixing all these things together. And, um, you know, I think my mom or someone said, like, that's a very Alex combination. So, you know, try it out and see what people say. It will definitely turn heads. I will tell you that. <laughs> and that's the Zen. It's like a lengthened, oversized Oh, the Zen. zen. And then, yeah, and the cotton or linen gauze. Okay, please excuse my typo. This is not the Ikea. It is the Zen jacket. So... The last trend that Erin and I noticed were um, basics and sets. You could also call this like elevated loungewear. You could call this kind of sweats 2.0. So it's taking um, casual styles and adding the monochromatic element. So as you see in this top here, we've got the great color trends again of a bright orange hat and then the bright hot pink suit and pants with that really cute purse. So. Um, you know, there's lots of variations of this, lots of layering. It's all about kind of over, oversized jackets with mini shorts or shorter shorts or oversized pants with a more tailored jacket. So it's kind of mixing up the scale of your garments. It's mix mixing up the sizing a bit. Um, I love both of these colors and I love how it's just kind of blending even the accessories in here. So you know, her sunglasses with her shoes, and then on the left, that cool bag. 
with that green colorway trend, you've got you know variations of a green. So think of a green bag with an entire green ensemble. I love how that is not only the all green, but then it, it plays with that color. And so it's just a slightly lighter hue. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. Here's some runway pictures and street style pictures, but again, I mean, this this orange picture on the right really reminds me of the Eureka skirt. I was actually wearing that today coming into the office, and I forget how slim that skirt really feels and fits and looks when it's on. So thinking of like a Eureka skirt with a, a basic top um, in the same color as kind of a basic everyday wear type of thing. and then. On the, on the left, kind of a bigger trouser, there's the Hollywood pant pattern that we have, and thinking of a more slender shirt, the ET, the swing tee. Thinking of just, if you could pick one color and put it in a garment and wear it all day and wear it head to toe, what color would you pick? So thinking, that, thinking of that with any sewing workshop things, this is Betsy and a really cool, this is a mix it top with the West End pants that she, wears as a kind of a romper or a jumpsuit and then I couldn't find really a picture of an entire head-to-toe outfit of we have that we have in one fabric or one set of garments but the mace on top and joggers um, that is a great pattern it's two patterns in one and you know Aaron here is wearing it in a in both in a knit just in different colors so if you think about again just picking one color maybe she would have picked that peach to also make jogger pants in and it would have been an entire head to toe outfit in a single color so that's a great pattern collection to consider for kind of an elevated lounge wear experience in one color and I think that's it so I'm gonna come out of this so give me a second here and what are we going to talk about next? We are going to move on to what we're wearing. Yes. Top. <laughs> well, actually, that sounds a lot. But <laughs> <laughs> so I used what I did is I used the mix it tank pattern and then I added the mix it top sleeve. Um, to create the top that I have on and we'll talk about that a little bit more later mm -hmm. um, And then I'm wearing it with the Valencia pants. Um, I like the idea of the matching sets in the bold colors and so um, But I didn't have a chance to make the linen pants But I already had Valencia pants in blue. You can tell what color I love um, so mix it and then Valencia on the bottom just a full length full length Valencia I'm wearing the Eureka top in a lovely ribbed knit that we have, we'll show you guys in a bit. Uh, I lengthened it two inches and I love it. I love it. <laughs> the bottoms are full length West End. So I think uh, we cut this out a couple weeks ago at, at So Kansas. I think I lengthened them two inches, but then I also didn't hem it. The hem is an inch and a half. I didn't, I only turned it up and, uh, hem, and hemmed it. Just like, with one. One fold. One fold, yeah. One fold. So, mm -hmm. uh, which was a whole other story last night when I was FaceTiming Linda. Here's a tip for you guys. So anyone that uses FusiWeb, you need to know this if you ever need to remove, remove FusiWeb. <laughs> I was FaceTiming with Linda and I had like already put the FusiWeb on my hems for the pants um, because I, I was planning on turning them up another inch and a half because that's what the pattern said. I was following the pattern. And Linda said, well, you don't really need to double turn it for knit garments. I didn't really know this or I didn't really think through that. I was just kind of following the pattern. So I had already fusy webbed my entire hem um, and you know had it kind of ready to go. And so when she said that, I was kind of bothered because I was like, well, the fusy web's already on. I don't know how to remove the fusy web. Mm -hmm. We were trying to like brainstorm of how to kind of cover up the fact that I already had fusy web on. So she said, well, go get wax paper up in the kitchen. So I went and grabbed wax paper. She was like, I've always heard this works, but I've never tried it, so you might as well try it. So I just tore off a piece of wax paper and put the wax paper over the fusy web. 
Then I got the iron and I just pressed the wax paper over the fusy web along the hemline and you literally peel the wax paper away. That fusy web came all the way off. So wow. if you ever need to re remove fusy web, get wax paper. You probably already have it in your kitchen and that is that's the way to remove fusy web. I, otherwise I was like, well I'll just wash the pants. It'll probably go away eventually, but we got wax paper. So that's good enough. Yeah. So I'm wearing the West Ends and the Eureka Top. All right. Well, should we move on to kind of our take yes. on the spring trends? We have some garments for you. So let's start with this Eureka ensemble here since you have the Eureka Top on. So this, well, it's the same fabric. This is um, the rib knit, same as what Alex has on in the red which we just got more of this in stock. So the Eureka top, I think this is the same, about two, two inches longer. Mm -hmm. I think I actually just cut it at the extra, extra large length. Oh, nice. I went from there. I was kind of, that's called lazy sewing, but <laughs> it worked. And then um, this is the E dress skirt, and it's the same, it's the same red knit, rib knit. So this is our take on the you know, matching sets. Mm -hmm. And I love this hemline on the on the skirt. Is that how the pattern is? So no, the so the E dress skirt has a bottom panel. So there's two, well actually three separate pieces: the front, the back, and then the bottom panels. And so I decided to leave off the bottom panels and make um, lengthen the top portion and then make a shirt tail hem. I've been seeing that, I made this last year, I've been seeing that in Anthropology and a couple different other outlets and I really liked it and so I decided to make my own. Love it. So, so this to me is so comfortable. Yeah. Like I'm wearing for Yeah. Here's another, another version in the rib knit. These are the ones, Linda made these rib knit west ends. And these are the regular length. So mine that I have on are full length, but this is the pattern length of the West Ends. This is another pair of West Ends in a red linen. So, you know, you can combine it with your Eureka top like that. I think if you, like you said in the presentation, like find a color, find your color or a couple different colors that you really love. Like I love blue. And so it was easy for me. Oh, I already have a pair of blue pants. I'm going to make a blue top to go with it. Mm -hmm. So I think it's easy that way um, to mix and match when you kind of find your colors that you really love to wear. Yeah, I mean, we all can't wear hot pink or hot orange or lime green. So we should try. <laughs> but <laughs> if that's not you, pick your color. Right. Exactly. Pick your color. Pick your color. Well, I'm gonna talk about one of my favorite shirts. I don't talk, I don't make this enough or I don't think about it enough, but when, whenever I see it, I'm always just so struck by it. So um, going into the topic of, I guess, psychedelic prints and stripes, like you guys saw in the presentation, here's the Zane T or top. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was named after a One Direction band member. Um, and so, you know, taking this top, this top is great, it can be made easily in a knit or a woven. So here it is in a woven. It does have an invisible zipper in the back if it's made in a woven, but if it's made in a knit like this one, uh, you don't need a zipper. You can just do a traditional knit neckline technique. So um, this is the kind of the play on stripes or plaids or mixing prints. So in a, in a cool, um, it's like a, you know, a textured, Textured in it. Mm -hmm. So we don't have these fabrics anymore, but these are just kind of for your inspiration. And here's this really psychedelic mixed print thing. Um, and this is in a woven again, so it has the zipper in the back. But thinking even just wearing something like this with basic black pants, you're good to go. Or I mean, why not make a whole, like I said, a whole outfit in a print? I would do it. Okay. So this is the Zane top. And kind of on the same line of um, black and white. You guys have seen this before, but um, this is the ET variation. So I made this, I lengthened it, I did a shirt tail hem, and also lengthened the sleeve. Um, or I think did like the swing tee 
sleeve length on this ET. When, and I saw this, this came straight out of Vogue. I saw someone wear a t-shirt exactly like this. So I just copied the style. I was like, well, you just, you essentially make your own stripe shirt. <laughs> it's one single stripe, the whole shirt, basically. And then this is the Eureka um, top in a, in a basic black and white stripe. Yeah, it's a French terry black and white um, that we still actually have this, this fabric. Um, the Eureka is one of those patterns that I feel like you can make over and over again. Mm -hmm. You know, if you, um, especially for this time of year, it's a great one. You can make it quickly um, in a lot of different fabrics and wear them in the spring. We've been thinking of, I mean, you've lengthened it, this mm -hmm. is lengthened. So having it shorter with a layer underneath or even longer as a, a longer tunic or dress. So there are, there are so many options. What about this? What about those? <laughs> so this is another trend that I really liked. Um, I love black and white. I don't know if you guys know that about me, but to me, black and white is an easy thing to get, to get dressed in the morning. You can just grab a white top, you can grab black pants and um, colorful shoes, and you're out the door. Um, and so I, I always go to black and white whenever I can't figure out what to get, uh, what to wear. Uh, but this is an updated look, I think, um, from traditional. So instead of pairing this with black pants, you know, do that bold color. Um, so I think it's a good way to test it out. Test out the bold colors, test out the black and white stripes, um, and just have fun with it. And what pants are these? These are the Hudson pants in a green, grass green linen. So mm -hmm. these will, you can, and you can even wear a white top. You could, if you want to keep it simple, um, I think just even a white top or a black top to try out the bold color. Mm -hmm. Really fun. I love it. What about this combo? Would you do the, oh, yeah. the, the blue? I would. With the green? I would. I think that was in the presentation, basically. It was. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's really fun. Mm -hmm. Well, and we needed to know about your top, so. Okay, so I'm wearing the Mix It top today. And, um, and so I wanted to show you kind of where we started with the pattern and how I got here. So the Mix It tank is just a simple tank. It's a really great pattern to have. Um, it has a, a nice kind of squared off scoop neckline. Um, you put binding on the neckline and at the armhole, and it's just a really nice nice length. I didn't change the length, um, so the length is a nice length for spring and summer. Um, and then the pattern also comes with a top. So the top, the mix it top, it's a nice short sleeve, cap sleeve actually, cap sleeve woven top with a stand and an opening, cut keyhole opening in the front with a loop and a button. So another great spring option. Um, but I didn't, I wanted to make a really simple top. I feel like one of the things I'm missing in my wardrobe and actually in the sewing workshop wardrobe is a simple woven top um, that's just the front, a back, and sleeves. Something you can make in a lot of different colors mm -hmm. um, and different fabrics, different woven fabrics. And so I decided to combine the tank with the top. So you can put the mix it top sleeve into the tank. You know that? I don't think I did. <laughs> I mean, it looks amazing. It's so amazing. you can. Um, so in 2018, so confident, we actually did that. Um, we were working with a crepe, like a white crepe, and we decided to put the sleeve into the tank and lengthened it. So if you have the 2018, so confident, you. Um, might recognize that concept. Um, so do you want to do the little mm -hmm. run through? We have a little bit of a um, mini presentation about the, the mix it top and tank. So um, it's, it's very simple. And one of the things that we're offering today is if you buy certain fabrics, if you buy the linens that we're offering in the mix it or the mix it pattern, you get this mini tutorial for free. So it just, it runs through um, how you take the tank and add the mix it top sleeve. You use the front and back um, tank pieces. Um, you use the binding piece from the, the neckline binding from the tank. And then you take the tops, the, the top sleeves. And 
Um, the main thing that you need to um, consider is just you measure. You know, we always want to make sure that the sleeve fits into um, the tank opening. And so the biggest thing is you want to measure your, your opening at the armhole against the measurements of the sleeve. Um, and that's how you can fit the sleeve into the tank. So, um, and then I did lengthen the sleeves. Um, So I decided to lengthen it to a nine inch sleeve. So um, if you do, like I said, if you do buy um, some of the linens that we're offering or the mix it tank, you get this mini tutorial for free. So, but yeah, I think I'll make this top a couple different times. Yeah, well, and I like what you're saying too, like with the Eureka, you made this so many times, it's so versatile, you can lengthen, shorten, but with a woven mm -hmm. garment, you're right, kind of having a woven garment that's just as versatile mm -hmm. that you can kind of keep in your collection and get out for different times. So. Right. I like those patterns. Mm -hmm. I like the patterns where I want something, I want it, and you know, once I kind of stick with the style, I like to have a variety, mm -hmm. a variety of different tops. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it was worth being up late for, I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do like it. It's very comfortable. Um, so, okay. Um, the fabrics? Yeah, Is that the next next step? We're kind of okay. in our in our lanes here I of know. fabrics. So I love the crazy wild prints. Aaron's got the cool. I got the bold cool color. so. bold colors over here. You want to start with the bold colors? Yeah. Okay. Let's All right. Let's start with the bold colors. So um, at the top behind me, I'm gonna kind of there we go. I want to make sure you guys can hear me. So at the top here. Um, this is the same royal blue that I have on, so it's 100% linen, it's a medium weight linen, so I think it has a nice nice weight for spring. I think you could definitely do this top in a lighter weight linen as well. Um, and then the one just below is the same the medium here. weight linen in a grass green. It's the same green um, of the... The Hudson's that I made. So grass green linen. And then the next one is um, this is a, a rose print with a really beautiful orange background. Um, it has pops of green and pink. It's a nice lightweight 100% viscose. Um, and then the bottom two are the rib knit. So the rib knit like Alex has on. Uh, in this kind of sherbet, sherbet, that's a good word. We call it peony, peony pink and and raspberry. So um, we've used this so many times. This fabric it washes beautifully. Um, like I, I was mentioning that I had made the red ensemble last year, and I've worn it a lot. And so I have worn it and washed it. Um, and then I hang it to dry and it's just beautiful. So it's a good fabric. And I would pre-wash this fabric. Um, yes, yes, I, I yeah. recommend that too. <laughs> okay, can you talk about this one? Did talk about this we did. one. Okay, kind of crosses over to your, to okay, your side of the Well, cause <laughs> that we'll, we'll bring out some other fabrics, but I got very distracted yesterday because I saw this and saw other orange prints and kind of like that one outfit where I had the Chesney pants and the Mix It Top psychedelic print matching thing going. Yeah, I mean, I just, I could have quit this whole Facebook Live and just talked about these fabrics. I thought it was so fun. Well, so, go for it. Go for it. Talk about this one. <laughs> well, I don't even know what these are. They're like beautiful flowers <laughs> or abstract lines. But this is kind of the epitome of this type of print I'm talking about. Like this is... This is spring 2022, and thinking about mixing it with this printed rose, I mean, come on, how cool. But then we have in the ribs knit, there is a peachy orange. Such a fun color for spring, such a fun color. I mean, even if you might not be an orange person, I feel like this is a color that's kind of can air on the side of not neutral, but is a little bit, it's not like a bright, bright orange that 
is just so overwhelming and can very much distract you. But pairing this mm -hmm. with like a white shirt, pairing it with a black, uh, with a stripe, um, you know, keeping it pretty simple with, I mean, if you were wearing what I'm wearing today, you would never want to take this off. I mean, it's as comfortable as can be. So pants in this would be fantastic. Mm -hmm. Uh, West End pants, you know, the, the regular length that Linda made in the green, we're making a full length and just having them around. I mean, it's pretty hot today, but these are so flowy and just easy easy to wear. It's, it's easy to wear kind of all times of the year. So mixing this with those orange prints, I mean, I thought I'm going to make pants out of this and then I'm going to make a, a mix it top like Erin made and add like the sleeves of a mix it in that other orange print I just something has to happen so I don't know I just think it's cool so if anyone does that or everyone should do that I that's the challenge maybe this week if anyone wants to make an entirely orange outfit please send a picture and I'll send you a coffee or something <laughs> I know Deb was really interested in that creamsicle orange rib knit mm -hmm. So I think she was thinking um, there we had, I think we still do, we had a French terry, a French terry in the creamsicle and then the rib knit and she wanted to do like a Maison combination, mm -hmm. I think. Um, so I need to remind her. <laughs> yeah. So do you so want to Yes. Um, on? So this black print, I think you guys have shown it on Facebook Live before, but this, these are giant roosters, huge roosters. So it's a big rooster print, and I plan to make a whistle shirt out of this. I'm giving you a spoiler because I think we're going to do a Facebook Live on that coming up. But um, a big sort of oversized button-up shirt, maybe a Florence, a whistles, um, that's what I'm going to make out of this. So it is a, it's 100% cotton. Underneath is a another prince, and I don't see the tag actually, but it's teal mixed with kind of a maroon red, but you know, a, another kind of woven top, perhaps a mix it, perhaps a, a more tailored shirt. Be a great option. Even these, this with this, how fun! So making a some West End pants out of this rib knit, the one I'm wearing now with a, a woven top, a great idea. That'd be very cute. I mean, you could also probably switch it, make pants out of this. It's it's lightweight, but it's not see-through or anything. Um, so you can make pants out of this and a Eureka knit top out of this. And then this came, I came across this a couple weeks ago when I was here and I love kind of the color blocking in this fabric. So this is, it's a, this? it's a rayon. It doesn't have a tag, I don't okay. think, but it's a it's a rayon rayon print. I think it was one hundred percent rayon. But it's kind of all of those colors for spring twenty twenty two. So the orange, the green, the blue, and at the very end, I don't know if you can really see, but it's just kind of a basic black and white. Should so we bring it out. Yeah. Yeah. This one, it's very cool, and you really do need to see it in mm -hmm. full view to really get the idea of what you can do with it, I think. Mm -hmm. Even um, the the Zen top or the Zen coat that I wore over the mix it. Oh, nice. Kind of a, if you think of like a, a longer jacket, that would be mm -hmm. fun. I think um, Deb was talking about, she has it cut out and ready to go, um, a cottage shirt. Oh. And she was trying to incorporate the black and white stripes into mm -hmm. the sleeve band. Um, so I can't wait to, to see that. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to put this down over here. Okay. So, the us. And then last but not least, a beautiful knit black and white stripe. That's the same stripe as this Eureka. So it's a French terry in the black and white stripe. It's just great. Very soft. Uh, and it's it's a lightweight French terry, so it's not too heavy for this time of year at all. It's very, very comfortable. Love it. Wow. I'm, I'm ready to sew something else. <laughs> I'm like, what else? I am I going to make that orange thing. I just thought. Yes. To. 
Yes. Something's going to happen. But Can we have a matching creamsicle? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, next, yeah, next time we'll... Yeah, we should do something like, like swapping prints and we're swapping how it we, looks. Yeah, we should... I just like that we can see ourselves here. <laughs> we know what we look like. It's great. Let's see how, how much we use our hands. <laughs> okay. All right. So should we take some, should we figure out some questions? Yes. Okay. Um, you might do it on your computer. Um, I have a few. My phone seems to, the comments are disappearing. So we're going to get, if anybody has any questions for us, uh, we'd be glad to answer them. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed the the presentation, the spring trends presentation, and we hope that you can incorporate that into your wardrobe and into your into your sewing inspiration. So, what kind of questions? So, the orange rib knits. Um, can we show that again? Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's the orange. And someone's asking if it can go with the striped floral. So striped floral. Is that the is that the color block? Oh one? the color box. Alright, why don't you hold on to that? Oh. Maybe there so. you go. It is a different orange, but I think that you can Mm -hmm. I think it goes well. I think it gives it yeah. a nice spring pop. Even if this mm -hmm. is like a jacket or like a buttoned shirt, you could wear a white underneath, I think, or something, thinking about layering them, but I think so. Or Eureka top out of the ribbed and then Weston pants out of the print. And the orange rib knit with the wild orange print off the screen. Yes, yes, yes. Of course it does. This is this, this where is, it all yes. started. Yes, definitely. Yes, so Definitely. Yeah. Those two together, amazing. So there's a couple different oranges in the print, and I think the creamsicle looks fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yes. And what is the weight of that leafy paneled fabric? Or not paneled? It's not a panel. It's just of big stripes. It's a, a lightweight rayon. It'd be perfect. It's a good weight for Western pants. It'd be a nice weight for um, a blouse as well. Mm -hmm. Very drapey. Um, if they already have the mix it, can we purchase the directions about the sleeves, the tutorial? Um, we do have um, another part of the sale today is the um, full tutorial that includes the instructions about the mix it. Um, from the 2018, I believe that would be Series 7, uh, So Confident. So we do have that third quarter for sale this week. So if you go um, to our sale category, or go to um, Linda's videos and go to the Spring Trends category for this week, you'll find that tutorial. And it has um, not only this, um, it has uh, the swing dress in it, um, it has a split swing tee, so it has a couple different uh, garments, uh, tutorials within that tutorial, so you get a lot. Would the orange flower fabric make a good Ikea 2 jacket? Oh, I think that'd be fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, the Ikea 2 jacket, this is a similar weight to some of the kits that we did offer for the Ikea 2 jacket. And I think this would be fantastic. I'm just, I wanted to show you the print again so you can get an idea of scale on me for a jacket. But I think that'd be great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The rib knit, is, is it a bamboo? Let me read off, it is a bamboo. Okay, so the rib knit is 89.5% bamboo, 10.5 in 10.5 spandex. Very exact. Do we have solids which coordinate with these color blocks on the black leaves? So, um, as far as what's on sale, 
what you're seeing is what's on sale. I think that that fabric with the black leaves can go with the linens that we have on sale, potentially. Um, potentially the blue, potentially the green. They are, they are different blues and greens, but I think mm -hmm. it's still like thinking about making the blue or green into linen pants. You could have, the, you could definitely have this print as kind of a coordinating print on top, either as a jacket or a, or a top. I think even though the color isn't in the print, I think the color you have on Alex would be nice. I think it has a similar shade to it, which mm -hmm. I think is nice. Um, if you did want exact color matches, um, just let us know. Give us a call. Um, give Deb a call and she would be glad to help you with more specific color choices. The rooster print, does it match with one of the solids? I think the rooster print matches with this blue. I think it matches with, there is like the slit fades, is, there's not, there's green, but it's not exactly this green. I would still wear it with this, with the green, I think. Mm -hmm. um, it also goes so well with this color I'm wearing. Also, even thinking of this pink ribbed knit, either one either one. I think any of the solids here definitely work. Even um, the red that Erin had for her Eureka and skirt, you know, you could put the red with that booster print as well. Yeah, I love how it has pink and red in it. That's something that we've, we've been seeing. And so I like a print that combines those two. Would a V-neck look good on the Edgewater dress? I think a V-neck would be nice. Um, and actually, in within one of our, we do have a tutorial that talks about creating a V-neck from the swing tee. So I think that you could you could translate that to this pattern. Definitely, that'd be cute. The color name for my outfit is this is red wine colorway of the rib knit which I do like red wine so that makes <laughs> sense the raspberry rib oh someone's just commenting the raspberry rib knit with the large orange flower fabric I think that's a fantastic combination. Mm -hmm. Or even the other orange too. I mean, I think as wild as some of these might seem, I think, I think all of it really goes together. It's just a little bit of a risk. Take a little risk. Mm -hmm. Oh, people enjoyed us very much. Thank oh, you guys. Thanks, guys. <laughs> have any other questions I could review the patterns that are on sale yes I tell go us for that. what patterns okay. are on sale just a little review so all the fabrics that we've shown are 15% off this week and then quite a few patterns on sale um, so we have the Eureka that's on sale it's a digital the top is digital and print um, the print comes with the top and the skirt the Hudson um, print is top and pants, and then the digital version has the pants. Uh, the mix it has so the mix it has actually three tops. Um, we talked about two today: the top and the tank, but it also has a shirt, and that's print. Uh, the West End is a printed pattern. The Zane it's digital, um, and the Valencia is digital. The pants are digital, and then uh, those are all 15% off. And then the tutorials. Um, so the tutorial that does include the um, mix it sleeve option, but plus a whole lot more um, with a lot of it has to do with the swing tee and the mix it and I think the cottage. Um, so series seven, third quarter, that's on sale. Um, and then there's also another tutorial that's on sale um, that I think is really helpful. So it's um, three bias strips and it talks about how to use bias strips and necklines and it gives you different options on how to do it 
Um, and I think it, it's really helpful. I think that doing um, a nice bias binding on a woven blouse is just really classic and clean. And I love, actually kind of like doing it. Um, it's, it's kind of fun. <laughs> um, so, but it's a really good tutorial that shows you different options on how to do it, whether you want top stitching, whether you want to do slip stitching, just kind of how you want to finish it. So that's also on sale. Um, oh, and then um, I realized today that, so the pants that I have on, the Valencia pants, are made out of a crepe. And it was the Valencia cocktail party that we did last year uh, for So Confident. Oh, and Alex is showing the pants. <laughs> so um, we do have two of these kits left over. And so uh, we want to give you guys the opportunity to purchase those if you'd like. So those are on sale, those last two very last two. We don't have any of the fabric on a roll, but we do have the two kits available. The first dress pattern we showed is Edgewater? the Edgewater dress, and that just came out in May. Mm -hmm. Is it May? Yes. It is still May. <laughs> it feels like August because it's 95 degrees out, but it is May. So this is the newest pattern we have, it's digital. This is the also the new kit that comes in four colorways. You can now pre-order until May 16th. And the pattern also comes with the skirt, which is the striped kit we have. So you get both the skirt and the dress in the same pattern. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's the, the dress is the June project and the skirt is the May project. We're so confident. So, all right. I think that's all. If you guys have any pressing questions, feel free to reach out to Erin or myself anytime, uh, either on via email. I'm Alex at sewingworkshop.com, and then Erin's is a little more complicated with her last name. But <laughs> for whatever reason, I got Alex. So I like if it. I missed any comments, but it looks like um, you guys really enjoyed the presentation and liked kind of seeing street style and runway styles with what we're doing at the sewing workshop which is which was the whole point kind of looking at what's happening now and how you can incorporate that into your sewing workshop looks so and thanks for kind of bearing with us on this new yes. format i think it was fun um we love showing inspirational images and so i think this is a fun way to be able to give you guys a presentation mm -hmm. so yeah so if you liked it send us a comment or a note and we, we might think of adding more to future yes. Facebook Lives. So you'll be back to normal next week. Linda will be back. Betsy will be back. So we are getting booted. But <laughs> we'll be back in Topeka in a I'll, couple weeks. I'll be back in right. yeah, a couple weeks. For so. Memorial Day. Yeah, so. and that sneak peek on like the exciting. shirting. So I think we're doing a shirting thing. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Though. Don't tell anyone, though. It's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everyone. It will take me a couple minutes to figure out how to end this, but appreciate we, you guys. Yeah, we appreciate you guys, and have a good week.